Okay, here is a warm-up for what we were talking on fr about on Friday, about um, relations versus functions. So remember, a function is just a special type of relationship where for every value of x, we only get one possible matching y value. So every value in that is in the domain can only have one matching range value. So this first equation is y equals the absolute value of x. And the absolute value of x just means like the distance that the value of x is from 0. So if I have x being equal to negative 2, in terms of the, the number line, negative 2 is 2 units away from 0. So our y value, if x is negative 2, our y value is positive 2. It's positive 2 units away. If x is negative 1, negative 1 is 1 unit away from 0. 0 is 0 units away from 0, and 1 is 1 unit away, and 2 is 2 units away. So when we graph this, we end up with a point at 0, 0, we end up with a point at 1, 1, and at 2, 2, and if we kept going it would be 3, 3, and 4, 4, and on the other side when we had negative 1, we had positive 1, and on negative 2 we had positive 2, negative 3 we had positive 3, and if we kept going, we would have positive 4 and positive 5. And honestly, uh, what happens, we've only done a subset here. We only took a look at five different points in our table of values. But if we did this on Desmos and we used this equation, we have not said we're only graphing five particular points. It's going to assume you're doing every single value of x that is possible. And if I could use a ruler on this iPad, I would, but I can't, so I won't. But this is the graph you are going to get. This is y equals the absolute value of x. Now, if I look at this in terms of function versus just being a relationship, um, this does pass the vertical line test. For every value of x, I only ever get one matching value of y. So this definitely is a function. Okay, next one, y equals x squared. You guys know this from grade 10. This should be a 4, a 1, a 0, a 1, and a 4. This is our friend the parabola. It's a positive leading coefficient. We know positive is happy. If you're happy, oops, if you're happy and you're positive, that is like the worst positive sign I've ever drawn in my life. Okay, maybe not the worst, but close enough. Uh, we know that this parabola should be opening upwards. And I'm just going to plot my points here. I know if I went out to 3, 3 squared would be a 9. And we're going to go in even further. And our graph is this nice, beautiful U-shaped curve that we put in here. And I label that with y equals x squared. And when I set this up, I did not label my axes with the x's and the y's. So I'm going to go back and do that. This is the x-axis and the y-axis. Okay, now try the next one. The next one says that the x is equal to the absolute value of y. That means I'm going to take my value of y and I'm going to see how many units it is away from, the, uh, from 0 and then put that as my x value. So the value of y of negative 2 is exactly 2 units away from the, the 0. And you're going to do that for the rest and graph that one. Okay, and when we put our values in here, hopefully you put me on pause to do this and then you, you checked it out. When I graph this, if x is two, my y was negative two, so I have a point here. When x is one, my y is negative one. When x is zero, my y is zero. When x is one, I have a one. When x is two, I have a positive two. And if I continue on in these patterns, I'm gonna end up with my graph looking like this. And if you put that into Desmos as x equals the absolute value of y, there are absolute value signs in Desmos. This one does not pass the vertical line test. You can see that I could draw a vertical line right here and my graph passes at this spot and at this spot. No, not a function. It's only a relationship. Okay, not a special type of function. That's supposed to be a sad face. This one, the second one, I did get a function out of that. That did work. Okay, next example. Okay, which of the following represent a function? So here I'm looking at uh, my table of values. For every value of x, I can only have one matching y. And when I look through my table, I only really have one point of concern. I have x being equal to negative 1 happening at two different spots. So if x is equal to negative 1, I get a y value of negative 10, but the second one gives me a y value of 3. Graphically, 
um, I would have, uh, here's my x, here's my y. Graphically, what's happening when x is negative 1, I have a point down here at negative 10, but I also have a point up here at 3. So they're both happening when x is equal to negative 1. That does not pass the vertical line test. So this one, that was not supposed to happen, this one is not a function. Okay, it's only a relation. This one's not a function. Okay, the second one, if I try to do a vertical line, again, I can find spots, in fact, many spots, where the vertical line is going to cross two spots, uh, two places. If x is negative 3, you can see I have two places, uh, two different values of y. So this also is not a function. Not a function. Okay, the next one, the third one across here, if I take a vertical line and I pass it from left to right all the way across, there's only ever one spot, one value of x, or sorry, one value of y for any given value of x. This does pass the vertical line test. This one is a function, absolutely. The last one, take a guess. I'm looking at when x is negative 2. I see two spots where it's crossing, definitely not a function.